Good morning. Today is Saturday, February 22nd, 2020, week number 64. Yep. <laughs> That's my job. Yep. Yep. Welcome and thanks for watching. Um, we're going to hop right into Bill's numbers. Yeah, we're going to hop right into my numbers. <laughs> Let's see. Last week on the 15th, I was 329.6. What? Yes. And uh, this week I'm 329.8. I'm up 0.2 from last week. I uh, just started another medicine from the doctor, which is helping getting things moving in my tummy, but it's giving me goosebumps and I'm just feeling horrible lately. But I'm hoping I can adjust to it and it'll help get things moving regular and uh, life might get a little simpler. Maybe my back would stop hurting as much. I'm still dealing with a kidney stone, kidney stone too, so I'm not sure doctor kind of says kind of a combination of constipation and kidney stone could be both affecting it, but I'm trying to get past that. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm down here riding the bike and doing my keto thing. I've tried all kinds of different adjustments for my keto. I've tried higher protein. I've tried lower carbohydrate. Um, heck, I had a couple of days that were under five carbohydrate total. And obviously, you see the numbers didn't change much. <laughs> so, but you know, we're working on it and uh, been doing a lot of reading. I've just a lot of things and just haven't found the right combo to continue my journey and it's a little frustrating but here I am on Saturday checking in like I promised you I would. You're gonna kick it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stay positive on it and I know I'm doing good and heck I, I'm gonna release a video in the next few days here um, about my recent doctor visits and my blood works and everything and things are looking good. So yes. I'm very happy and fortunate on those things even if the scale isn't always cooperating with me so absolutely yeah so where'd you end up this week? all right so well last week i weighed in at 136.2 and today i weighed in at 136.6 so i'm up four point four point four not four so <laughs> point yeah not four pounds uh point four so i went to the ortho yeah i actually have a fractured clavicle and a torn tendon hmm. So it's so, going to be in the sling for a bit. Yeah, so needless to say, um, I'm not doing my regular job. I'm not getting my 25,000 steps a day. I'm getting about 4,000 steps a day. Oh, because you're, so, desk, you're yeah. kind of desk bound or standing. So I'm either at the front door greeting members as they come in, or I'm in the office answering phones and writing lots of city rewards rebate checks back to members. So... Um, definitely a little bit of a difference. I'm hoping to kick this six to eight weeks recovery time. However, well, we're a couple weeks into it. Yeah, we're so a couple weeks start. into it already. So I go back uh, the first week of March. I did as well go and do my annual physical and full blood workup. Oh, and um, the Costco one. I, I did for the doctor and the oh, Costco okay. health assessment. So I just did that uh, yesterday. So, oh, so maybe we'll numbers. do a dual video and release them all together. Yeah. Or two separate ones so that people want to see yours. They go, watch yours, want to see mine, watch mine. Yeah, so this will be a true comparison. By that point, when we first did our appointments last year, we had been a couple months into keto, but it will be a true one-year to one-year assessment of where our numbers are at. Yeah, and uh, mine make me very happy. Yeah. Compared to the last nine to 10 years where I was diabetic and had horrible numbers and lots of medicines. Yes. So I am on a great path that I'm feeling very confident about. And the doctor seems to give me lots of thumbs ups. So, yeah. My you know, doctor there's was, a little foreshadowing there. It's, it's, a good, it's a good thing. Absolutely. My doctor was really happy um, when I came in because, of course, they look at your charts before you get there. And remember, my highest at the doctor's was 192. Mm. Yeah. So she was pretty happy. Now you're 136. So, yeah. yeah. She was pretty happy with the numbers. When Most I doctors went in. <laughs> would be very happy with seeing 192 to 136. Yeah. Same with me in the 380s down to the 329s. Yeah. Still trying to hold out of that 330. Really, really hard. Absolutely. You know, I'm gonna. Um, I've been doing the intermittent fasting with the 16-8 window, and I'm thinking that. Uh, I'm going to try and go back into some fasting mode. It might even help my tummy a little bit. Um, I was usually trying to get in a 24 to 30 hour fast yeah. once per week. And uh, 
gosh, it's it's a discipline that I have to relearn in a sense of the fasting part, but I, I think I need to do that a little and see if it'll even help my tummy. My stomach hurts so much that I get goosebumps in my legs and my arms and I'm telling Stacey, I'm like, look at my arms, look at my legs. I'm just That's just cramping like horrible. Yeah. So I want to get feeling normal. And not cramping from lack of um, hydration either. Oh gosh, no, I drink tons of water. <laughs> Yeah, that's mostly, I have a 22 ounce, I think it is, 20 ounce, and I drink probably six of those a day, if not more. So, yeah, I'm definitely always down in the water. So, so even though I'm in, as people at the door say, oh, you hurt your wing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm an injured bird. However, Bill has agreed to help me, because I was going to do a video, but not able, it was really sore, um, so not able to use that left arm. However... Bill said he'll do a video with me. I looked do at the, the talking and he'll do the mixing. I looked at the instructions. It looks pretty <laughs> straightforward. I think I can do it. Yeah. Because it's measuring cups and pouring it in and mixing <laughs> it. And I can handle that part. This one is going to be a biscuit from lowcarb.com yes. that we're going to do. Um, we have become a partner with them. And they yeah, sent so the product out. I just received it. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be Bill's first recipe video with Yeah, me. whenever you're ready. Maybe tonight after work. Maybe tonight or That's tomorrow. Fine. Yeah. Try and get it out tonight for tomorrow. Yeah. You never know. But yeah, that, that one looks interesting. I'm not sure. See, I'm not a I'm not really a bread or a biscuit person. I am. But Stacy is. <laughs> I don't know what you'd have with that. Gravy or something, I guess. Do you have to have know. something with it? I guess not. Biscuits butter. And butter. <laughs> butter. See, I just that doesn't appeal to me. Oh. Give it's, me meat. It so appeals to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was right up my alley. Are just going right in your mouth. I don't know how that doesn't drive you nuts. Because I've had long hair for forty-eight years. Uh, well, kind of not really, but so um, <laughs> so yeah. Is that about it then? This that week? is it. Okay, we've got a couple. We're still working on that Costco video. In fact, Stacy just gave me some more of the last pictures that I needed. I'm gonna work that into the timeline because uh, for 2020, we've kind of made a more inclusive list of all the things we're using. And it was a multiple trip yeah. visit. So um, m mainly due to budget because, <laughs> you know, it's it expensive. But it's going to include quite a few things. I'm not sure how many total, but quite a few. Yeah. So watch for that too coming soon. And uh, yeah, so we're excited about what we're going to be bringing to you this next week or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some great news on both of our uh, doctor visits. went fantastic. Um, I've got to review old ones versus new ones and put it all on a sheet. So that I can relay that info to you guys, but uh, I'm I'm ecstatic with with where I'm at, and uh, Stacy's doing very well too. Even if the scale isn't uh, showing it and reflecting great numbers, uh, I'm so fortunate to have all these other things falling into line. I think absolutely. Yep. Now, what were you going to say? I have one area that first time ever in my blood workup that didn't fall within the ranges that I need to be. So I'll tell you about that when we do the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for checking in with us. We're going to get Stacy off to work. Julia's got a little bit of a fun day with some friends planned. So I'm going to be Mr. Mom Taxi today, driving her around, <laughs> doing all that fun stuff. But uh, take care. And if you're doing keto, stick with it. Even if you're not seeing the results, it will pay off over time. Um, gosh, a year ago, a year and a half ago even, um, huge differences, even if I'm not seeing it on the scale, like I said, um, just so much more happier and uh, things are going in a good direction. So, you know, mm -hmm. stay positive, trust the process. Yes. Even on those weeks where I get frustrated, where I'm not moving, I've still not been moving for a while. Stick with it because overall, the health of everything is doing so much better. Yes. So... You feel better. You look better. Yeah. So more I don't mental wanna, clarity. So I don't want to fall off that that wagon, even if I feel like, oh, I'm not getting somewhere. So, but take care. Have a great weekend. And like I said, if you're sticking with keto, stick with it, and just be patient. Absolutely. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later.